Hey guys, it's Hunk. So today I'm doing the 10 style challenge um, because, you know, why not? Uh, and I did 10. One of them is my own and the other nine are um, Rick and Morty, Book of Life, Gorillas, Adventure Time, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Tim Burton, Homestuck, Wander Over Yonder, and Steven Universe. Um, so, really quick, I'll mention that the character I'm drawing is my own character. Uh, her name is Vida, and I kind of regret choosing her because she has so much fucking hair. <laughs> um, and for some of these styles, like, there really wasn't a reference for, like, big, uh, wavy, curly hair. So I kind of just had to guess which I guess it's it's part of the challenge to kind of like adapt. Um, but, you know, it was a struggle. And when we get to the styles, I'll, um, I'll do some commentary. And I'll maybe do some rating like from 1 to 10. 1 being I hate it. 10 being I love it. I don't really think I got any 10s. I'm not going to lie. I... And not very proud of most of them. Um, I feel like a lot of them were fails. Um, but, you know, it was still fun to um, kind of explore other people's styles and techniques. Um, you know, it was just a fun experience. And real, like, quick, like a real quick funny story. I actually recorded this part, which we're seeing right now, which is me doing my usual style. I recorded this last. So I did all the different styles first. Um, I spent two days drawing in someone's like in other people's style. So when I got to recording my part, I struggled a lot. It took me like 10 tries to get something that uh, felt like me. And I thought that was like really funny because I kept doing like different sketches and like paintings um, and I was like, who am I? Um, which I guess is like a sign that maybe I learned something from doing the other styles, but like it was frustrating that I couldn't get my own. Um, so I, I really had to go like I was looking through my videos and like my my old drawings and I was like what even is my style you know <laughs> it's like instead of like I think I I, I struggle the most drawing back <laughs> going back to my own style than like drawing in like these other people's style uh and that's just like bizarre um but I thought that was like hilarious but also very annoying um and don't worry we're almost getting to the part uh where we go into the styles it's just that my regular style thing is just <sighs> very detailed and oof. you also notice that i left it very messy and incomplete and that's just because i didn't want to like fuck it up i'll be honest like I was like, if I work on this more, I'm just going to ruin it. So I just left it very messy, which is fine. I mean, I am messy. So like, it, it's true to me, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're nearing the first style. And I believe the first one was Star vs. the Forces of Evil. We'll get to it right now. Yep. Uh, with this one... It was kind of hard because the characters all looked pretty different. Um, so I kind of had a hard time like choosing a reference. Uh, and you'll see that I end up changing um, the eyes. Um, one thing I'll say is that I feel like I fucked up with the, the line, the like the size. I feel like they were too thick. So, yeah, I'm not super proud of it. Maybe I'll give it a 7 for this one. Um, 
I don't know. I don't really have a lot to say about it. I'm not super proud. I don't love it. Um, I love the style and I love the show, but my interpretation was not great. Um, also, like, it was hard because a lot of these styles don't have, like, a lot of detail and shading and stuff like that. So it was like, oof. I'm not used to this. This is too clean, you know? Um, so, yeah. The lines are really bothering me. They're so thick. Like, the, the lines for, like, the eyes are fine, but the rest, it was just... Just a fail. So, yeah. Just give it a 7. This one is the Homestuck style. This one was... Whatever. I'll give it a... Well, I'll do the rating later. But I used a reference of Aradia and then Mulin. And... I was... You'll see in a bit that I I first like colored in her skin like you know like the normal one but at the end I'm just I just did it white skin and black hair like the actual uh characters in Homestuck. Uh I'll give this one a 7 too. <sighs> it's not great. I don't I didn't have like the pixelated brush for it, so it's just eh. It's whatever. can't believe I did this. I wasn't going to do the Homestuck one, but I was like, you got to do it. You're trash. Come on. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and this one. Oh, this is the Rick and Morty. This one. You know, this one wasn't really hard at all. Um, again, the, like a lot of the characters. I mean, the style looks obviously the same but they all like kind of different so it was kind of tough choosing a reference but I like the end result um again I think the lines are too thick but whatever I'll give it a an eight it's all right it's fine uh, the Book of Lifestyle, oof. So, I liked the sketch for this. I liked, like, the vibe that it had. But once I finished it, I was like, oof. Um, so yeah, I love the sketch. I feel like the sketch does look like that. Uh, but, you know. I think the painting or, uh, like, the coloring could have been better. Um, also you'll notice that I didn't really want to paint with these. I kind of just wanted to get like the general, uh, vibe, I guess, from the style, but without really committing too much because I didn't want to spend too much time on these. Um, so if some of them aren't not as detailed as like the actual stuff, um, that's why I just, I didn't want to spend too much time. Um, this one I'll give it, I guess, I'll just wait till the end, but right now I th I'm thinking maybe like a six. I wasn't super proud. Um, I love the book a lot. <laughs> Oof, I can't talk. I love the book of life and I love the style. I think it's really cute, but it's tough. It's tough, you know? fun but tough um what did i rate it six yeah six sounds about right um don't really know what else to say about this one um a lot of people tell me that be that reminds me of like something that would be in the book of life and it's like well i mean the book of life is you know about mexican culture and be this Mexican that's like <laughs> that's it um but you know I'm flattered I love the book of life one of my favorite movies um man can this be over with already <laughs> I'm done with it I'm over it um I don't remember which one's next 
Oh, Adventure Time. This was so <laughs> easy. This was a 10. Like, how could you get this one wrong? Honestly, I probably got it wrong. But... <laughs> so simple. Um, it's so cute, too. Oh, man, Adventure Time. I need to catch up on that show. Yeah, how could you get this one wrong? Um... love it oof oof gorillas oh my god so i did the sketch and i ended up painting it like for an hour and then when i saw what i had drawn i was like you know what fuck this and i started all over again because it did not look anything like gorillas um and it was just super frustrating. Uh, but I wanted to do gorillas because gorillas is actually what kind of got me into drawing. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Uh, yeah, the hair. This is the one that I struggled with the most for the hair. And I cut it out because I didn't want to spend too much time on it. But uh, I, I did a lot of attempts for the hair because I, I didn't know how to do it. Um, Jamie, hello. Hello, can you draw girls with like big, fluffy, curly hair, please? I'm begging you. Uh, I struggled a lot because of that. I didn't like, I couldn't find like any references. Maybe I was just like not looking in the right place, but oh, yeah, I struggled with this one. Um, the rating I'll give it maybe a six or seven. I don't think it looks that good at all at all. Like, I feel like I'm insulting the creators of these styles <laughs> by giving them, like, a 7. Because I feel like that's too good for them. Um, or, you know, like, I'm giving myself too much credit. <laughs> um, oof. Again, with this one, I didn't want to put in too much shading and detail because I just... I don't know. I just didn't want to spend too much time. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say about this one. I'm over it as well. I don't want to look at it anymore. What did I give it? A six or a seven? You know what? A six is fine. Seven is too good for it. Um, yeah, I couldn't decide with like if I wanted to shade too much. Uh, Tim Burton. I actually, you know what, when I was starting, uh, art, uh, well, not starting, when I was showing my art more, like, towards, like, 2011, 2012, a lot of people used to tell me that my art reminded them of Tim Burton, because, like, I used to draw, like, big-ass heads with, like, small necks and stuff like that, and, like, big eyes, um, so I was like, you know what, and I never did it on purpose, uh, so... I was like, you know what, yeah, let's finally kind of try to uh, do it in uh, Tim Burton style. So I did it. Again, I looked and I couldn't find references for like big wavy hair. So I kind of had to like guess for this one. Um, Eh, the style, uh, I feel like it's too clean. Like, I made it too clean for, uh, Tim Burton. Tim, I'm probably not saying that right. Tim, it's like Tim Burnt. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, it's like 3 a.m. Like, I'm recording this at 3 a.m., so I'm, like, tired, and my brain is just not working right now. Um... I'll give this one a 7. It's not terrible. It could have been better if I wanted to put more like detail into it. But I just didn't, so it's my fault. Um, I do like it though. And you'll see that right now, like the colors are still very saturated. And uh, I like afterwards, I actually put the saturation down. So it can kind of look more like... Something that would be in Tim Burton's movies. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I think what I really messed up on this one were like the eyes. I feel like I could have done that better. Um, and I was going to say the hair, but I don't want to criticize the hair too much because like, you know, to be fair, it didn't have great references. Um, so it was like, you know, well, guess I'll die. Um, oof. You know what? Doing all those lines, it looks hard or it looks like frustrating, but it's actually very relaxing. I love doing stuff like that. Um, so I, I think that was like the most like relaxing part of this whole thing was just doing like stuff like that. Uh, I love details. I love details. I live for details. Um, when is this over? I can't tell from how I'm editing. I think it's almost done. So yeah, what did I give this? Seven? An eight? I don't know. Oh my god. So with the Wander style, I actually ended up doing like two different versions. Um, and I'm very disappointed. I love Wander over Yonder. Uh, it. I'm not gonna lie, this show saved my life. <laughs> Um, but I kind of regret that I couldn't really, I don't know, get the essence of it. Um, I used mostly a reference of Princess Demora, which is like a minor character that we rarely see. So like her look is just not the normal look, I guess. Uh, I wish I'd had gone with something that looked more like Lord Dominator. Uh... And I don't know. I should have played around with colors more, maybe, because I love the colors in Wander. Um, I don't know. I was really disappointed. I wanted to do this one because I love the show and, you know, kind of wanted to pay tribute to it, but it was like a fail, I guess. I'll give it a five. Eh. I don't know. It made me sad after I looked at it. I was like, man, it doesn't even look like it. Um, those are a four or five. But the thing is, like, all the characters look so different because they're aliens. So, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so this was a Steven Universe style. I thought I was going to have an easy time with this one, and I did not. It was bad. It was bad. I hated this one. Uh, one of my least favorites, honestly. Um, I'm, I don't want to give the rating yet because it's like we haven't even seen it, but like I'm telling you right now, I hated it. Um, it's just bad. Bad. I think the lines were great, but maybe my character design doesn't really fit with the show. I don't know. I was considering making her into a gem because, you know, Steven Universe, but like, like, no, no, I, I need to make it look a little consistent. So I just left her, um, with her normal colors. Um, the rating, I think a four. You can kind of pretty much tell what it's going to look like from here. Look at the eyes. I don't know if it was like, oh, I don't know. I hate it. <laughs> um, I think Steven Universe has like nice colors and nice character designs, but like I cannot. No, I cannot copy it. I cannot uh, capture the essence of Steven Universe for this one. Tragic. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just need to put color on this one and it's pretty much done um i don't know what else to say honestly uh oh my god this is yeah this one was definitely my least favorite um i didn't get to do all the styles i wanted to but maybe for another video i will um i want to do a challenge where i draw in other people's styles like my mutuals uh but you guys would have to let me know if you want to watch that
and maybe I'll try it. Um, the challenge was fun, uh, frustrating sometimes, but fun nonetheless. And this is just all the styles. My favorite one was probably Adventure Time, and it, it was the easiest one. <laughs> um, my least favorite was Steven Universe, and this is just a closer look at all of them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching this long ass video. Um, don't know what else to say. That, that's pretty much it. Thanks. And um, let me know which one was your favorite. And yeah, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.